In this video, we are going to talk about postmenopausal non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So, postmenopausal women are at increased risk of developing non-alcoholic fatty liver because of low level of estrogen. So, we know that postmenopausal women have lower concentration of estrogen. So, that means they are more likely to suffer from choline deficiency especially if they do not focus on choline rich diet so we can get choline which is an essential nutrient either through food as well as through reactions that take place inside our body we can also get choline from liver so our liver also synthesizes some choline but that's not enough to meet the requirement of our body so estrogen what it does estrogen is important to induce this enzyme PEMT that is phosphatidyl ethanol amine and methyl transferase so this enzyme what it does it catalyzes this thing that is phosphatidyl choline and helps in making uh, of choline so choline is important because it helps to remove excess fat from your liver it's a lipotropic factor and choline is also important to maintain the structural integrity of your cell so it's important for every organ and every muscle of your body so if you have choline deficiency your organs won't function at its optimal level and it's very important for your brain health also because it acts like a sealing agent between your neurons so choline is also a methyl donor that means it helps to repair your dna and prevent cancer and women who have lower level of choline are at increased risk of developing breast cancer also so it's important that every postmenopausal women must focus on this essential nutrient that is choline in order to avoid the complications such as being diabetic so we know that if you have fatty liver cells become resistant to the physiological action of insulin and over a period of time that can lead to type 2 diabetes and subsequent complications so every postmenopausal women must focus on choline as well as estrogen and they should try to eat a choline rich diet and foods which are rich sources of phytoestrogens because that's going to really help them in preventing things like diabetes organ dysfunction as well as decrease the risk of cancer